vocab or jargon. Okay. So when you talk about functions, you say one thing is a function of another. Okay. Uh, I've asked a few groups. I don't think all groups uh, to figure out a way for this to come out in minutes. Okay. Uh, or, or we can we can say that one. Let's just change it to hours for now. Hours. Okay. So the number of hours you get is a function of what? Okay, so that's how you figure it out. But when we say, and I want you to do, uh, when somebody says something like this, this is a function of this, I want you to understand exactly what they're saying. So you're not wrong if that is the function, but when we say that something is a function of something else, okay, what thing causes the hours to change? which represents money. Okay, so the hours you get is a function of, right, the value of the hours is affected by, is caused by, is decided by, is a function of money. Okay. However many hours you get is decided by how much money you put in. It's a function of money, okay? So that is just to say that if I know the amount of money that will tell me how many hours I get. Right? So together we're going to write a function in function notation. I'm going to start this way. So what letter could represent the time you get? And let's be a little bit creative, a little more creative than, say, Y. What letter could represent how much time? T for time. Why not? T for time. So. What letter could represent the money that you pay from somebody new? M. M for money, why not? Okay. Um, uh, all right. So let's, which letter represents the input of the function? M. M does. We're supposed to put in money. And what letter represents the output of the function? Yes. Okay. Um, so T does. T represents the output of the function. Okay. So when we say something like this, that the, the number of hours you get is a function of money, here's how we use function notation to say just that. Okay. I get time if I put in money. Okay. So time is a function of money function. F of x, h of x, and all that different stuff. Here, t of m. Why? Because t is the output, m is the input. And t also is the, like the name that we give to the function. It's a function that tells us the time. Okay. So we're going to use function notation. Function notation, t of m equals okay, t of m, or what most of you have written as y, equals Well, if we wanted to re let H represent hours, then we would just change T to H, because that's the letter we want to use. We're, not, we're just using T, and, and T can be in whatever units we want to be in time, it could be hours, it could be whatever. Okay. But how do we figure out the time, given the minutes? Like, what would we have over here that we plug minutes into, or, or, or sorry, not minutes, uh, minutes, money. What would we write over here? So if we plug in money, we get out the right number of, right amount of time. What would that side look like? Hours. Again, um, you're wanting to say that this equals hours. Okay. You're kind of just going back and changing t to h because you want. I mean, if you want to use h, we'll just go back and change this to h instead of t. What I'm trying to get you to say is. What goes over here? What like what's the calculation? As I plug M into, what do I do to M to figure out what the output is? This is the output. This is H. If you want it to be H, but we can just change this to H. Okay. What over what goes over here? What calculation do we do to M, the amount of money, to get the output? Yes? Isn't it whatever t times m is? 
Okay, so let's let's clear this up. Um, so let's go back to here. The number of hours you get is a function of money. Right? The amount of money that you get. Um, what does that mean? What am I saying? There? What's being said when we're saying the number of hours is a function of money? What does that sentence mean? Um, how much yeah, so the number of hours is going to change depending on the amount of money. So just the, the amount of hours or the amount of time, or however you want to say that, is changed by the amount of money. It's not saying, it's not saying anything specific, but it is saying that as money changes, time changes. Put in more money, we get more time. Okay, that this is saying the exact same thing. This doesn't m mean t times m. Okay, uh, it means that you can figure out what t is time if you know what m is money. Okay, and so all this right here is the same as saying y. All this notation means is that this is a function that will tell you time if you know money. It will tell you time if you know money. If you know money, you can figure out time. It's not t times m. Okay. We're not going to take the time times the money. That's not what this is saying. This is the same as y, right? How do we figure out how much time we get given the amount of money that we put in? Money, what do we do with it? Okay. Multiply the amount of money by four thirds. Does anybody have anything different than that? Most groups do. X divided by 75. Uh, so you have this function. Anybody else have anything else? I think everybody had this at one point. Okay. A lot of groups have this. Uh, this one's pretty unique. Uh, sorry, I'm going to now change the x's to m's because we decided that m would represent the amount of money. So how can we tell if this function works, this function works, this function works? How can we tell? something in for M, okay? What's something we can plug in for M? Five. We could plug in five, five for what? Five for uh, represents represents five what? Five cents. Five cents? Yeah. Okay, we could absolutely we should be able to plug in five cents. Now do you know what you should get out of this meter when you put in five cents? You should get um, 15. You should get 15 minutes? Do we know that for sure? Do you feel real confident about that? Or this, I mean, 
Let's start with one that, um, I mean, you might be right, but let's start with one that maybe um, is more like right up front. Like right from the get go, we know we should be able to put in, put in what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, three, five, four, five. Okay. So, how about 150? We should get out. Two. Okay. You should be able to put in a dollar fifty and get out two. All right. Um, if we're going to put in a dollar fifty, we should probably use 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Okay. Start with the number of dollars. So we should be able to put in 1.5 and get out two. Right. So let's try that. If we put in 1.5 into this function, do we get out two? Put in 1.5 into this function and see if you get out 2. Okay, you grab a calculator or write it down, go participate, get engaged, put in $1.50 into that function and see if you get out 2. Okay, now try it for this function. Instead of two, it gives you one over two, one half. Well, I mean, not that we can't work with it, we couldn't fix it, but uh, just in the interest of time, that doesn't give us an output for a known input. We know we should be able to put in a dollar fifty and get out two, and this one doesn't do that. But this one does, and, and how can we keep seeing if these functions are working? Just keep putting in stuff until you feel like it. Satisfactory. Does work. Okay. Um, um, how about this? Um, after it means multiplication. Okay? We write this nice and big, and you remember this does not mean multiply t times n. Okay? And this doesn't mean multiply f times x. It's not multiplication. Okay? And it's not Weird that you would think that because that's what it's meant for a very long time. Parentheses next to a number and multiply these numbers together. What does it mean? Time compared to money. Okay, time compared to money. It's it's closer, right? It's not it's not just multiply these numbers together. Okay. That's great. That is 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 more. It says more than, than you might think. T is dependent on m. T depends on M. M doesn't depend on anything. M is the independent variable. Heard that before, right? Independent, dependent variables. 
the amount of money you put in, it doesn't depend on anything. I guess it depends on how much money you have to put in. Okay? But it's, it's not really what we're talking about when we talk about functions. You put in whatever amount of money you want, right? but the amount of time depends on how much money you have, how much money you put in. Okay? So you put in amounts of money and that decides the time. Okay? That's what that means. That is what that means. It means if you know the money, how much money you're going to put in, that tells you the time. Uh, t times m, you don't have to solve for t, you don't have to solve for m, okay? t is decided by m. t is a function of m. t is a function of m. That's what that means. No m will tell you t, okay? Let's put all of our s's back. We've got plenty of time to do that. Make sure they're straight. 